But the, so what's happening to a lot of these people is you take out 40,000 in debt. You end up paying like 60,000 over. More than that. Probably more, yeah. Yeah, like right. a lot more yep. because you get deferments, you got COVID, mm -hmm. people can't work, they're unemployed. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of all the interest. You gotta pay back what you spent. Oh, the we're, banks are going to be like, well, we're not going to give anyone anything. Good. We're not going to make anything. Good. Excellent. I, I agree. I agree. No with more. You. Get rid of. Listen, if you can't afford to go to college, you don't go to college. Good there point. we go. I fucking. There, I knew that was going to be his solution to the problem. For a second, I almost gave him some credit for being like, well, maybe student loans are bad. Nope. If you're rich, you can go to college. Everyone else can fuck off. He's boomer conservatism to a T. What, what, what world is this? I, I never understood this, where it's like, buy things you can't afford. That's, that's what they're saying. No, Tim, it's not saying buy things you can't afford. It's saying there are some things that shouldn't be commodified. No, I don't think anything should be commodified, really, but whatever. You can't, just putting a dollar sign on education is dumb. Not just because it means that uh, the people in your society who are poor never get to reach the level they're going to. And by the way, the system that you are advocating for here is literally the opposite of meritocracy, you daft cunt. Anyway, which I know you don't actually support meritocracy, but you do, at least in theory. You do claim to. Um, yes. The um, Just say uh, it's really bad not just for uh, individual poor people, but for your society in general, because poor people um, often, right, because they're the majority of people, they'll be like geniuses and experts and shit, who or people who could become very significant experts, um, who aren't allowed to rise to the level they they could do and enrich the society via the expert expertise that they could learn at uh, college. I keep saying it's called university here. College is like a different anyway. The things they learn at college, they can then take into whatever industry they go into or whatever field they go into and learn via experience and apply those skills and make the society better, more productive. They become enriching, tax-paying, productive members of society, Tim. Whereas, if you ensure that all poor people can only work at McDonald's, what you end up with is a nation of McDonald's workers, which I'm not attacking any McDonald's workers here, okay? I'm not attacking them for a second. But it's not well paid, is it? And it's not particularly high-skilled. It's not something that you need lots and lots and lots of in a society. What you need is heart surgeons and brain surgeons and teachers and architects and fucking t uh, d marine biologists. All kinds of crazy shit out there. And the wider the talent pool you have for that in a society, the better that society will be, you stupid bastard. I can't believe I have to explain this to conservatives. Education enriches every motherfucker. For every fucking dollar, right, or pound as, you know, the currencies, euro, yen, fucking yuan, whatever fucking uh, currency you put in to a, you know, your system, your education system in, in your country will be repaid tenfold, a hundredfold down the line. You can't necessarily put it on a graph though, which is why politicians are fucking uh, such short-sighted, like fucking like the crow that only she's the shiny thing. Um, uh, they're so fucking stupid and short-sighted, they don't see that, that for every fucking pound you put into the system, you go, your society reaps the rewards of that. A millionfold. It's so... In well, not literally a millionfold, but you know what I mean. Like, a, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. It makes the society so much better. It makes the country so much better. It enriches it. Let alone the fact that just learning shit is good for the individual, which makes a more healthy society. A more knowledgeable society is a more healthy society. But the point is, the more knowledgeable society is, the more confident society is. And the more confident society is, the more it tasks, the more it asks of its political class, its ruling class. And the less easy that ruling class finds it to exploit those people. You, Tim Paul, are doing the bidding of the very people, the ruling class, that you claim... To oppose and want to be voted out. You fucking spectacular cretin.